I'm going to be showing you how to get Fallout 76 running permanently on the non-C drive uh, drive, like ex another drive that's not the C drive. So I'll show you that this is not installed uh, on my C drive, which is a, an SSD. There. Fallout. And if you click move, you'll want me to put on the SSD. And it's there. And without the fix, I'll try to run it. And this is the error that most people are having. And when when you load her up and you get the no ping error, there's one way that everyone's shown how to do it uh, with the project file. But there's a setting you can change to make it not delete itself. And I'll show you what that is. So first thing. Well, like other videos you see in, you don't to go to where the game is installed, uh, where you and then program files and then modify Windows apps, then Fallout 76, then get the file Project 76 any, and copy it to Documents, My Games, Fallout 76, paste it there. But what you want to do after that is go to properties, right click on it, the project 76 in e, properties, security, edit uh, all of them and deny it to write. Just like this. And apply, make sure it's done. And now, if I just hold that there, I run the game. It should work. And that file should stay there. And to allow you to run the game, well, all the time without deleting that file. I don't know if there's a be, uh, other people who work this out. But this is what I've done to get it working on the non-C drive. And as you can see, it's just started. There you go. And now I'm going to show you that it does not delete the file. So, file's still there. And it's still there. And now I'll run the game again. I don't know if this uh, breaks anything else, but I've been playing it for like an hour and I had no issues. There you go, it's loaded again correctly and that's how you fix uh, your Fallout 76 Game Pass version from the Microsoft Store. Bye.